three, two, one, fight. Remember to pause your win amps so that you can sync it back up. And Daler, zero, four, jumping and grabbing the mega health. Daler just trying to peck away at zero, four with his shotgun and finally is able to do it. Daler walking away with the first frag of the map. He's only got 25 health and 50 armor. And zero, four is just coming on him hard. Super aggressive. Daler able to take a step back, fire a couple rockets, score a second frag, and now he has a two point lead. Now remember, Q3, Tourney 4, uh, the pro version, very fast paced. Zero four 4 landing a nice mid-air rocket. He's only got 17 health. He picks up 50 health pack, but scores his first frag of the game. It is now 2-1, to one, already 40 seconds into this game, and the action is hotter than it ha ha than you'll ever see it here on this map. 2-1 to one now, Zero four 4 making his way, trying to find some health. Now the action settles down just a little bit as both players back off, try to gain some weapons, try to find some armor. Zero 4 running out of rockets there and switching to his plasma gun, picking up some more ammo. Daler camping out by the mega health. He's got a rail gun, and that is a tough position to attack, especially since 04 does not have a rail. 04 landing three very nice rockets, some splash damage. Switching over to Daler. He's got no armor, 59 health, but he picks up a YA. He's back on this board. He's just going to need some help to get back in the game. He's trying to find that mega help. Zero four. 4 Daler both whipping out their rails. Daler puts his away, pulls out his plasma gun, and frags Zero four, 4 making it 3-1. to one. He's only got 59 health, but he's sitting pretty with 100 armor. There he picks up 50 health, and he is good to go. Daler now leading this game by two points. The QuakeCon 2002 champion taking on the last year's World Cyber Games champion. It doesn't get any better than this. Two guys who potentially have a lot of momentum and a lot of skill to be able to win those positions and head over to Korea. Actually, I think both of these guys are already going. But for spectating pleasure, this does not get any better. Daler grabbing the mega health and another nice rail frag on 04. Both of them firing slugs back and forth at each other, but 04 unfortunately couldn't come out on top as Daler landed two. And there's another one. Five to one. Daler just racking up impressives left and right. Now, for those of you who aren't that familiar with Quake 3, an impressive is when you get two or more rails in a row. So the fact that Daler already is picking up quite a few and 04 picking up an impressive of his own. Two rails. Daler who only had four health got railed by 04 and it was over Daler coming back and following up with a nice machine gun kill with 04 didn't have a whole lot of uh, health available to him but Daler capitalizes on that 6-2 to two now both of these guys still in a, in a position to win but Daler obviously having the heavy advantage with a four frag lead fortunately for both players the lead in a, in a pro Q3 tourney four match can change in seconds and there we go 04 Picking up a nice super shotgun kill. Three minutes into this match, and Daler returning, returning that frag with a rail of his own, and then Zero Four just answering right back with another rail. Seven to four. Zero Four definitely putting on the hurt. Zero Four landing a super nice spam rocket right in the face of Daler, knocking him down to 18 health. Zero Four just needs to fire a couple machine gun rounds at him, maybe a shotgun blast, but something, anything is going to put Daler back into the grave. And one more frag on 0-4 scoreboard. There it is. 0-4 trying to get that machine gun in. He only needs one more peg. There it is. 0-4, 7-5. Only a two-point game. Daler, who had a four-frag lead there early on, is now is now it, it, it has a chance of losing that lead. 0-4, a nice mid-air rocket follows up with a, a spam rocket to the ground, and it is a one-frag game. There it is. It's tied up. Can you turn down my headphones, Juno? You know, they're just a little loud. Four minutes into this game, 7-7, seven 0-4 seven, has just taken the lead after a four-frag deficit. It just goes to show the quality and the skill of these two players. Unbelievable. Four minutes and 20 seconds into this match, 0-4 picks up. This is sounding, like, really scratchy. Sorry about that, folks. 0-4. Just having a little bit. I can't hear anything now. There you go. All right, zero four. Four minutes and 30 seconds into this game. Zero four, only eight health. And Daler almost landing a plasma gun bolt. That would have finished off zero four. He's looking to get that armor in the teleporter room. He picks it up. He's only got 50 health and 10 armor. 
But that's going to be enough at least to stay alive for uh, as long as he can. Daler now switching over to him. He's not sitting any prettier than 0-4 is. 76 health, 70 armor. There he picks up OIA. He's got the tactical advantage now on this map. And 0-4 finally getting taken out by Daler after he went on, what, a 5 or 6 frag run. Daler picking up a very nice rail and then following up with the shotgun, making it 9-7. to Daler capitalized on the armor and the health advantage that he had, and he has regained the lead. Five minutes into this game, there's still ten minutes left, and it is such a close game. Nine to two, zero four get nailed with the rocket as Daler comes up the jump pad, and Daler finishes him off. Now zero four having a real hard time getting back into this game with uh, with finding weapons. He picked up a shotgun, but it wasn't enough. Daler playing very aggressive now at this point. He has another four frag lead. This is going to be the second time in this game that he's had a lead, and zero four coming back with two nice rocket hits. He walks away with only one health, but he managed to take out Daler. Daler now looking to get a machine gun kill on him. Following up, he only had 17 health, but he was able to pick up a YA and a little bit more health. He's now sitting good. Daler trying to use that aerial advantage right now against Zero Four, firing shotguns from the upper level on the left side of the map. And oh my gosh, Zero Four after taking a massive shotgun hit with only seven health left, rails. Daler from the lower levels, 11 to 9, a two frag game, 0 4 now. He's he's back up with a bunch of health and 50 armor, and he's sitting outside the Meg Health room. He runs past it. He's looking to get that aerial advantage on Daler, and there it is. A nice rail finishes him off, 11 to 10, a one frag game. Daler spawns fresh. He's trying to pick up a shotgun, and there it is. 0 4 rails and falls up with a machine gun. The game is tied for the second time this match. We are about to hit the seven minute mark in this game 11 to 11 unbelievable now Daler taking a little bit more strategic positioning here but it was not enough Daler was sitting in the RL room in the teleporter room it, uh, on the opposite side of the rocket launcher and trying to get some nice hits in on 04. 04 came in very aggressive, fired two rockets. That was going to be it. It tied up the game. Now 04, in what was a two-second turn, has has racked up a two-point lead. Daler now taking the advantage. It is 13 to 12 in 04's favor. We are almost at the halfway point of this mark, and that is why I love this map because it's very fast-paced. It, it, it certainly shows off the skills of, of both players in, in, in the rail category, in the, in the rocket launcher category, in the map control category, how quickly they can build up frags. Right now, a little lull in the action now as both players split sides, try to get some more armor, and prepare for that next fight. We have officially passed the halfway point in this match, and 13 to 12, 0 4, he's got the advantage. Daler landing a nice rail from the aerial position over by the Mega Health. 13 to 12, still 0 4, he's staying on the lower levels and just letting Daler occupy up top, and it, it, it's worked both ways for him. Right now? All right. Zero four going through the teleporter, almost grabbing the mega. Daler though, a nice strategic rocket fires zero four off the upper levels, and Daler is looking to come back. He pulls out his plasma gun, could not follow it up, and instead hits a mid-air rocket to tie this game 13 to 13. Eight minutes and 30 seconds in this game. Daler 175 health, 126 armor, and eight minutes and 30 seconds have surpassed. 04 now in the rocket launcher room near the teleporter. Daler trying to get in there. He hits a nice rocket on 04, pops him up in the air, but 04 landing two of his own. Daler now only two health, and Daler looking to get that YA, looking to pick it up. Oh my gosh, seven health and 50 health. He takes out 04. He takes the lead, 14 to 13. The nine minute point of this game has been reached. 04 looking to follow up with that frag. All he's got to do is land this one rail on Daler. He's unable to do it as Daler goes to the teleporter, and Daler returns fire with his own railgun shot, 15 to 13, a two-point game. Daler falling down for the frag, a nice close-range rocket. Oh my God! Zero four ties it back up with two nicely placed rockets off of a freshly spawned Daler. Nine minutes and 20 seconds have passed in this match. Less than five minutes to go, folks, and it does not get any closer than this. 
0-4 picking up. He's taken the lead 16-5. to A nice rail hit. Gaylor gets several plasma gun bolts in there, but 0-4 immediately retreats to the middle room where all the help is uh, uh, is located. He picks up. He's he's uh, He's got all the help, and he's got all the armor he's going to need now. He picks up another YA, a rail gun, and he is on his way to the mega help to hopefully meet up with Daler. And there is yet another rail for the first time this match. Actually, no, the second time this match, Daler or Zero Four has taken now a two-point lead. I don't think either of these guys has had more than a two-point lead, with the exception of the first minute and a half, which Daler was holding six to two. Zero Four finally picks up that mega help. A nice impressive rail by Zero Four, and oh my gosh, another one as Daler ejects himself from the plasma gun platform. Zero Four follows up with the rail, and now Zero Four taking a very strong lead. Remember the QuakeCon 2002 champion Daler versus last year's World Cyber Games champion 0-4 a super exciting match 19 to 15 no let's make it 20 to 15 as 0-4 racks up his lead here another nice rail it is 20 to 15 in 0-4's favor and he has certainly taken control of this map now uh, when I interviewed Daler at, at QuakeCon 2002 he has always said that 0-4 or er, that ZTN3 Tourney 1 has not been his best map Traditionally, 0-4, he's fared better on this map, and certainly the, the ability to come back and regain control of the map and to stay cool when your opponent has the lead on him, he's worked on it, and he's definitely working it in this match right here. 0-4, though, taking a nice rail by Daler. Oh, my gosh. He follows through. He takes a little bit of his own splash damage. He opens up the door, and there is Daler. He takes him out. His limp corpse falls to the ground, and it's now 21 to 15. We've got less than four minutes remaining in this match, and it's looking like 0-4 is, is wanting to widen his lead to make sure there is no chance of Daler coming back and winning this match. Now, Daler coming off an impressive, impressive win versus Moonshine last round, where he scored 30 frags to only Moonshine's four. That was on Pro Q3 DM6, and that is a very impressive score on that map. It just goes to show the caliber of the play. Players. Daler is high up there and he is definitely making his mark. But 0 4 in what I would believe is another surprise turn of events. A lot of people saying Daler is going to walk away from this one, not have any problems. He defeated Fatality twice at QuakeCon.
former World Cyber Games champion taking on QuakeCon 2002 champion. There it is. The game is over. 29 to 15. Good games are being exchanged. Live from the World Cyber Games in New York City. And only on the Team Sportscast Network. TSN. This is DJ Wheat here live at uh, the TSN casting booth. I've got here specifically for Gator 519. I've got 04 John Hill. Now, John, you defeated him. Q3 uh, tourney four. You know what do you think? Was it was it map? Is it your practicing? I want to hear it from the man. Well, like I said at QuakeCon, I I had a bad day. Uh, I just had a bad day and the. Coming here, I practiced just as much. Uh, I was kind of nervous a little bit at the beginning. He did uh, surprise a lot of people at QuakeCon. Didn't want to take him lightly. But uh, once I calmed down my nerves, started railing him, uh, everything just came together. You you definitely, at least from my perspective, had tons of tons of rails. In fact, impressive rewards were just flashing across my screen over and over. Now, Daler at QuakeCon said that his worst map was Q3 Tourney 4. It looks like he's practiced it a little bit. What were you thinking when you guys were tied into, like, the nine-minute mark? Uh, right when we were tied, like, uh, surprised you said that. Uh, when we were tied nine minutes, I actually knew I had the game right there because... There's just something that I just calmed myself down, had control of the map, and rails were hitting, rockets were hitting, everything felt good, so I was pretty sure the game was mine. I, I was uh, I was nail-biting over here. It was certainly exciting, and I'm glad that I got to cast that action. Now, how do you how do you see Daler faring for the rest of the tournament? I mean, w we already know that you're you're sitting pretty confident right now. Obviously, you're having a good day, and it looks like already you're on your way into that four-person final tomorrow. But uh, what do you think about Daler? You think I mean, obviously an excellent player. Do you think he's certainly uh, one of the top players that's going to be advancing on with you? Uh, definitely. Uh... He's a really good player. He plays Vic to see who uh, goes on to the uh, who uh, goes on to the four. Uh, anything can really happen there. Um, I think he definitely is a good player. He reminds me a lot like Python. He uh, he's kind of random and he's pretty aggressive, so it's kind of hard to track him sometimes. Excellent, John. Thank you very much. Oh wait, I got one more question for you. Gator or JFW? <laughs> JFW in the void or Gator? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was going with Gator. Oh, there it is. You have it here from TSN. This is DJ Wheat, and you know what? I just